All right, so this is definitely not my finest moment, but I have 100% bleached my new coral. Um, completely my own fault, but we'll take you through today exactly what I did wrong. All right, so Saturday just gone. Uh, it's Wednesday now, by the way. I'm just recording this the night before the video goes out. Um, Saturday just gone, I popped to my local fish shop. I was after some T5 bulbs, because I need to replace the T5 bulbs, but that's a story for another day. Um, I was after some T5 bulbs. Uh, they didn't have the bulbs that I wanted, so I popped into the coral room. Um, saw an absolutely stunning sunset millipora. And anyone who watched my two-year update on this tank uh, will know that I was after a sunset millipora for this spot, uh, which is where it is. Um, so yeah, thought, great. It was a brilliant price, nice big frag, and um, picked it up, brought it home, and temperature acclimated it. I acclimated it in my sump for 45 minutes, got all my stuff together, got my jugs that I use um, to dip my corals. Uh, couldn't find my Coral RX dip. That's where I should have just stopped what I was doing, desperately tried to find it, but I didn't. I uh, couldn't find my Coral RX dip, so I grabbed the next dip that I use, which is the Aquaforest uh, Protect Dip. This dip is absolutely brilliant. To be honest, there's, there's nothing against this dip. It is my own stupid fault what happened. Um, so I've lost the cap for this, so I couldn't measure out how much I wanted to put in my container. I use one litre of wa uh, tank water, and I add my dip to that. Um, I put what I thought was an excessive amount, but lazy me thought, you know what, I can't be asked to pour it away, get some more water and put some more in there. So I just thought, you know what, we'll wing it, we'll see what happens. And this is what happens. So I dipped it, left it in there for two or three minutes, which I normally do. I then rinsed it, removed the base from the, um, from the coral, put it in my tank, and when I was putting it in the tank, I thought, wow, that looks really pale. Didn't think anything else of it, I just thought maybe it's a little bit stressed. Wow, was it stressed? It's, it was very stressed. Um, so yeah, left it that night, woke up the next morning, looked at it again, and it looked even more pale. No polyp extension whatsoever. There's absolutely no polyp extension with it in it whatsoever. And it was just losing polyps. Um, so this is actually Wednesday now, this is the day before this goes out, I thought I would quickly just update you as to, to how it's looking today, and to be honest, it doesn't look any better, it, if, any, if anything it looks worse. Um, so you can see a lot of the polyps are missing, they've completely um, bailed out, it is pretty much as white as it can be without being dead. Um, there is still some sort of skin on there, but to be honest, I'm not holding out much hope uh, for this surviving. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just update you on um, my absolute mistake that I made. Um, when I made this channel, I thought, you know what, I'm going to share the good, the bad, and the ugly. And unfortunately, this is the bad and the ugly. Um, so yeah, I mean the rest of the tank is obviously doing absolutely fine, um, there's nothing wrong with the tank, it is just the fact that I, I probably used four or five times the amount of dip that I should have used in there, and I should have pulled it away, I should have grabbed some fresh water, I should have just measured it out, but I didn't. So, message to you all, if you are dipping corals, follow the instructions, don't be a a moron like me, um, don't just try and wing it, just follow the instructions, that's what they're there for. Um, so yeah, now I'm stuck with this uh, not so beautiful millipora. Uh, it was an absolutely stunning sunset millipora and uh, I've completely messed it up. Um, I'm not going to throw it away just yet, I am going to leave it in there until it's fully, fully bailed and it's completely stripped, I'm, um, I'm just going to leave it in there. I'm, I like to cling on to a bit of hope that it's, uh, that it's going to pull through, but to be honest, the chances are it really isn't going to pull through. Um, it will probably just keep bailing, bending the little polyps. And, um, and yeah, an expensive lesson to be learned there. An expensive, quite an expensive um, mistake I've made, but you never know. We do make mistakes, we are only human, 
and um, sometimes we get lazy. And unfortunately, that laziness has, uh, has paid its price. Um, so yeah, not the best update, but uh, an update nonetheless. So thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you have a cracking week, and I will uh, catch you next week, hopefully with, uh, with some better news and a bit better of an update for you.